Hi, I'm John Hart, and welcome back to Mr. America Hart. So today I'm talking to the men over 50 once again. I know that you've seen some of my other videos about men over 50, not needing to train so often, shouldn't train so often, shouldn't do a whole bunch of extra work, should not do tons and tons of weight training endlessly, mindlessly, for hours on end, every single day, right? The traditional type of routine from back in the 70s and 80s and 90s, too much work for men over 50. Look, today's video is about how men over 50 need to work out every day. Now, what do I mean by that? In particular, when we get down to it, I still stand by the intense weight training should only be done for men over 50 once every three to five days, depending on your recovery ability. How well do you recover from an intense workout? Now, if you train really intensely with a decent amount of weight and you tear down that muscle, you're gonna need recovery before, remember, recovery precedes. You dig a hole of energy, you have to recover, and then you grow. So recovery precedes growth. This is undeniable. No matter what you say, it's undeniable. You have to recover and then grow. How fast that happens depend on, depends on the individual. It's all individual. So that's why I say once every three to five days, train that intensely where your goal is to tear down muscle tissue, stimulate growth. Even when you're older, over 50, doesn't matter, 50, 60, 70, train to stimulate growth. And then that's one workout each three to five days. I'm gonna give you a routine today. Second time each week, come in a second time. Before you come in on that very next intense workout, do a moderate to light even full body workout to make the body, keep the circulation going throughout the entire body, but make you use all of your muscles and joints adequately. Keep them going through a full range of motion, squatting, doing all the exercises that I've talked about in my other videos, doing those exercises and staying pliable, flexible, going through the range of motion. So you have a second workout every, let's say, seven to nine days. You're getting in two weight training workouts. One is very, very intense. Pick whatever body parts you want to train that week. The second one is a full body routine. Do a full body routine, a little bit of everything. It might take you a little bit longer to do, but you kind of move on through it. Do a set or two of each exercise but not as intensely, not with maximum weights. The idea is to get that stimulation, circulation, flexibility, stay loose, and the possibility that it will assist your recovery from that intense workout that you did and help to prepare you for the next intense workout. So it's a not to fail your workout. Dr. Ellington Darden, uh, you know, he's written many books over the years, dozens of books. He's a high intensity training specialist. He has described not to fail your workouts. I highly recommend you grab some of his works and read about them. I'll put a uh, link down below, uh, down in the video description where you can find one of his better books that I recommend. Okay. So that's training with the weights. Now look, every day though, I mentioned right in the title of the video, train every day. You're over 50, train every day. Well, look, that's not with weights. You need to stay flexible. Anybody who is over 50, 60, 70 will tell you movement is golden. Movement is golden. Sitting on your ass is the worst thing that you can do the older you get. Sitting on your ass will cause problems in joints, arthritis, problems in joints. I mean, stiffness, problems in muscles, tightness. So what do you do? On the other days, you can choose. Do something each day. You can choose to do light to moderate cardiovascular work, cardio. You wanna do an elliptical machine like you see here in my home gym, cross aerobics, step mill, treadmill, stairmaster, whatever you choose to do, that'll work. Do it moderately. How long? That's up to you. What kind of shape are you in? You know, build up a little bit but certainly 30 to 45 minutes of doing some steady state cardio in that type is not going to hurt you. And certainly as we get older, most of us, 
our activity levels tend to decline from being retired from work. If you're really, really active with work still, then obviously you have to moderate that amount of cardio that you do. But beyond the cardio, what I really, really like to see is my people over 50 staying super, super flexible. Stretch. Work on having a good stretching routine. I've done videos, and I'll include in the video description some of my other videos with some primary stretches that I use on you know, major areas since I do train with weights and most of you watching this train with weights, it's important that you have loose hamstrings, loose shoulders, you know, flexibility in your lower back and your hip flexors. You gotta keep them all loose, you know? So doing that type of work, really important. So I'll include several videos down below. You can check on your own later on to see what kind of flexibility I'm talking about and I also recommend, uh, highly recommend, a book by uh, Dr. Ming Chu. It's called The Permanent Pain Cure. I, I, I've learned so much from him over the years. And funny story <laughs> about how in my very first bodybuilding contest when I was a teenager, it was the Teenage Empire States in New York. As a teenager, I was 18 years old. And Ming Chu, the author of that book, he won the open division in that show. He had an amazing physique bodybuilder. And so you can still pick that up and take a look for, at it yourself. So what I like on those off days from the intense weight training, a little bit of cardio, a little bit of yoga or stretching. This is where Tony Horton with his P90X routine that he sells on all his infomercials. I, I actually kind of like the idea that he does a little bit of something every day. Do I like that it's you know super, super dynamic? Well, not for those over 50. It becomes a little bit dangerous. I've met too many people that have hurt themselves trying to jump around, doing those crickets and things like that. So not the best in that regard. But the idea of doing something a little bit every day, workout every day, is excellent for anybody over 50. So that's it for today. From my heart to you, hey, before you go, if you don't mind, down below, hit that like button off to your right, or that subscribe button off to your right, that red subscribe button off to your left. You're gonna see the thumbs up. It helps the channel a lot. And listen, I love hearing your comments. Before you go, feel free, comment down below. I wanna hear, what kind of workouts are you doing? Are you working out every day? You over 50? Do you find that what I'm saying is true? Do you find that it's just not true? Love to hear it. From my heart to you, John Hart. Look forward to seeing you next time.